Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we will see how we can upload file using PHP to our local host. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's see what we are creating. Let me just run this Apache and MySQL quickly. And let's choose a file. Let's choose a PNG file. Let's upload file. And as you can see, file is uploaded successfully. And if we go to our explorer and go into our HT docs and into our PHP upload and uploads folder as you can see the ak.png that we had just uploaded is already there okay so let's see how we can do it this is the form that we have and I already have the HTML for, for this form ready there is nothing but just a head and a body and this is the form as you can see here in action there is upload.php this is the main upload.php file the code that we will be discussing today the method is post the encryption type is multi-part form data so make sure that whenever you are trying to upload a file your encoding is multi-part slash form data because a file is uh, can have a large size so it cannot be sent as a one file so if you do it multi-part if the encoding is multi-part what happens is the file is divided into small parts and then sent to the server so make sure you have this in your form so action is upload.php method is post and encryption type is multi-part slash form data and after that we just have two buttons here or two input fields here uh, the first one is definitely the file and the type file is important and this name equals to file to upload is also very important that means this is the key that we will be using in our upload.php to get the file so you can have it anything you want but I've written it file to upload and then there's a button here and the type is submit and value is upload file and this value is what is being written here okay so yeah now that we have our form out of the way let's see what we have to do in our upload.php okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to define a target directory this is the folder where we will be uploading our files so as you can see here we have this uploads folder here that contains the ak.png that we had just uploaded let's delete this file and then we have target file that will be uploaded so what we do is target directory dot base name and then we access the file that we have now here we get the file using the name that we had sent from here so just write this here and then since this is a file it will contain a name that is ak.png in this in our case so the target file file is target directory and we append the file name to it all right so after that we just have a upload success variable that will check if our upload is successful or not and we use the move uploaded file function of php for that so the file name is in file name make sure you don't use this name here but rather you need to use a temporary file name that is uh, whenever files are uploaded they are assigned a temporary name we need to use that temporary name so file to upload and temp name and then we use we, we give the whole path and the name of our file that will be uploaded to this folder so that means target file so target file contains the target directory and the file name both things okay so and then we just check if the upload was successful if it was successful we echo I'll upload it and else echo wait all right so let's see if this works let's go back to our page here let's reload this okay it's not reloading maybe we need to start the Apache server again and let's choose a file let's this time let's choose this stock file and let's click on upload and as you can see it is showing file uploaded successfully let's check and we have our report uploaded here 
okay so this is how you can upload file but in real case scenarios rarely will you only have to upload a file without writing the file details or path to the database so what you can do is instead of just uploading the file you can get connection to a database and insert the file path and file name into the database so i already have tutorial on how to do that how to insert into database in previous videos i'll link those videos in the description below or somewhere in the cards around here you can check that out and try inserting these things names and path into database if you have any questions let me know i'll help you out